today we want to calculate um, covariance of two random variables x and y using the TI calculator uh, as shown here. And if you recall, our covariance is defined as the uh, formula xi minus mu x times yi minus mu y. Yeah? So here we are going to try to use calculator to very quickly solve a given problem. For example, if we are given the population of observations um, like as follows, 9787, um, 9 and 899, uh, 899. All right, and pairwise is going to be 9687, 97, 96, uh, and then followed by 87, 96, and 96. Okay, now we're going to try to enter these two uh, random variables observations into the list, right? First by uh, clearing the list, all right? So we perform clear list of L1 and L2 because we're going to enter uh, the uh, values into these two lists. Now you should do that automatically because you don't want uh, remaining values from previous calculations to affect your new calculations. So now we can enter the values and uh, conveniently we will enter uh, 8 uh, because it's easier to enter column wise as a list. So we will just do that. Okay, so there are uh, hopefully 12, no, 10 observations. We should have 10 observations. So 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 9, 8, 9, 9. And then for L2, we should have 6, 7, 7, 6, 7, 7, 6, 7, 6, 6. Okay, so we have um, entered 10 pairs of values. What you need to do now is to activate the calculator's uh, two variable stats function. Okay, so by going to calc and then uh, two var. So you can just press two and we supply the x and y list. Our x values uh, is indeed entered into L1 and y values in L2. And you ignore the frequency list uh, because we have explicitly entered all the values with repetitions and what you do is just calculate and we are done. So you see that the calculator has computed all the intermediate values here and here is uh, our theoretical understanding. We're going to use a uh, calculator friendly format of the original definition of covariance which is the sum products of all the xi's and yi's minus mu x times mu y. So here, uh, calculator has all these values, and what we're going to do is to call out uh, n, uh, yeah, and then run the inverse function to the power of minus 1, all right, and then call out the sum xy value, which the calculator has pre-computed, minus of uh, x bar and y bar. Now, theoretically, we use x bar, y bar as... Uh, the, the sample mean and sample, the sample mean of x and sample mean of y. But uh, in calculator, it is shown as x bar, y bar. So let's do that. Now we could enter 10 inverse, but um, let me just show you. We will call out the variables for statistics, number five. So we we always be using vars five, uh, and the n is just right here. We will call out n, all right, and press inverse. And then vars again, and 5 again for the statistical set of variables. And we go to the summation, uh, where the summation contains a, a different set of uh, variables having the sum xy that we really want. So we press 5, all right, and then minus of um, vars, stats, and we want 2 and we want 5. Okay, so 2 and uh, 5. Yeah, that's it. So once we press enter, we will get the population covariance of this 
population of observations. Okay, and of course here then we get uh, from calculator, it goes to minus 0 0.1.